This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Throw gang, we are joined by the Baron of Badminton, the Cowboy Kid, the Raja of the Ranch. I'm in love with the no-ho, the Lord of Lankiness. He puts the Ollie in North Hollywood, boss of Bob's Big Boy, his honor of horses, Pharaoh of the feature length, the IMDB MVP, five stars on the five star, the governor of graphics, the no-ho, Sonny Bono, shitting on you like a Toto, pro bono, king of the red carpet kickflip, illegal civ skater, and star of the new film North Hollywood dropping May 14th, Ryder McLaughlin. Ryder, how the hell are you? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Th- that'll wake you up from your slumber, right? Yeah, that was that was the best intro I've ever heard. Tell Mikey to put that tell Mikey to put that Holy. on a t-shirt. Yeah. Uh the pot is gonna immediately go downhill, but we we have, we're happy that you appreciate the intro. Ryder, the first thing that we want to do with you uh is a fit check where you're just gonna walk us through and the audience at home the totality of your, I'm sure, very cool outfit that you're wearing. I don't know if you want to start top down or bottom up. That's up to you, sir. Uh we could uh let me see. Let's start with uh, bottom first. Hell right, yeah. Dancer. I not got a cop. The, uh, he's, a, he's not a cop. Yeah, not a cop. I got the, uh, I got the pink Crocs on. Oh, very <laughs> nice. With with some, uh, what are those with things the, called? With the, the giblets? custom giblets. giblets. Yeah, nice. Custom. Pikachu and dice. Because you gamble while playing Pokemon. I got some, uh, got some army, I don't know, military pants, cargos. Okay. I got the custom... Uh, Little Please. hoodie, Ooh, I heart New York with uh, some hoodie ice cream printed, and uh, my friend, uh, my friend's beanie who uh, he knits beanies. <laughs> Shout him ears. out. What's his name? Uh, Bailey Goldberg. Shout we out got Bailey some, Goldberg. Lives in New York. We got Hell some. Yeah. We got some pearls, some charms. On, oh yeah, on you got oh, some. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> everything I'm wearing, I've I've kind of made. This was a like a knockoff uh, BBX Bella sure. kind mm. of style, and then I. Put a Jimmy World Fan Club. It's my wow, group, my group chat. A little uh, <laughs> details on it. We get yeah. to them time. Um, yeah, and let's not forget the uh, the World. panties. What 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 panties we're yeah. rocking today, if any? Wait, what are we talking about? Your underwear. Your underwear. Oh, your panties. Just Hanes. Nice boxer. I'm a simple briefs. guy. Yeah. Boxer briefs. Boxers. I'm okay. not a briefs guy. I can't oh. run with the briefs. Oh, yeah? Let's fucking go. This is two episodes in a row that where we'll have a guest that has boxers. I'm a box. I'm a baggy ball boy. Lawrence likes his shit I all tucked it, up. As soon as I'm sitting down, it just it's it's in my crotch. I can't. Yeah. It's so it's really much. just for living, not for like skating or anything. You just prefer no, no, to no, hang no. hang I just low. Prefer, yeah, yeah. Let it hang out. All right, all right, Ryder. Cool. Um, North Hollywood. We just watched it, Lawrence and I. We were fucking charmed. We were delighted. Mm-hmm. And but it's forget wonderful. us. Forget the critics. Forget the media. <laughs> What is something that someone who's close to you in your inner circle has said to you about North Hollywood that's like really stuck with you? Um, I think it's really just my friends and family saying that they liked it and they they really like me in it and that just you know makes me happy. And they might have you might proud. have a future in this in this biz after all, kid. Uh, maybe I would hope so. <laughs> maybe not. I have no idea. We'll see how it plays out. Has anyone like <laughs> talked big shit or maybe even like shot a subliminal like, yeah, it was all right or whatever? No, 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 no. I not mean, basically, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. only, only behind your back. Like, oh wow, that was so good. They're going home going, oh god. Like, nah, damn, you're better actor than I, you're better actor than I am. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Well, you were, uh, I mean, North Hollywood is kind of the story, like a coming of age story of it doesn't put skating at it's like, these guys are skaters, but you know, that's just who they are and what yeah. they do. And another film similar to that mid nineties, you were in both of these. How do you compare and contrast working with our boy, our close personal celebrity friend, Jonah Hill <laughs> and Mikey Alfred, like they're different, you know, directing <laughs> styles. Yeah. Um, I think with uh with Mikey it was more I, I I've known Mikey for years, so it's definitely a little more laxed. Even Jonah is like the homie. Don't get me wrong. Like right. he is, it was super relaxed, but it was definitely more relaxed and more uh I don't know. I'm also doing a little more in this movie, so I've had a little more f- freedom to like, you know, get direction and I'm not just sitting in the corner all quiet and yeah, sure. You actually have lines. You know, fourth grade. Yeah. <laughs> So like, all right, uh, pretend, pretend your brain is developed beyond yeah. fourth graders. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But, uh, um, I mean, they both have their different styles. They're both, it was like, they're both their first directorial debut. True. So, um, 
Would you say that you're a muse for both of these gentlemen? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> are you fucking? No, no. Are you shook to do a film where it's not just all your homies on set? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where it's going like to be a like a real, real life job. thing. Yeah. I, I did. I've done like a couple jobs where it's just me. Like I'm going for like a day, driving myself, not knowing anyone, staying at the hotel, pulling up, being like, "What's up, guys?" And they're like. First day of school vibes. Yeah, just no, just, just fucking nothing. Just the new kid. Yeah, yeah I'm like, uh, all right. I'm just here for the day. I'm writer. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be out of your hair. It's like I'm here for the scene, then I'm gone. Just show me where the catering is. Yeah, exactly. Please don't hurt yeah, me. craft services ASAP. <laughs> I'll get out of yep. your hair. <laughs> um, you've also been obviously you're part of the illustrious Illegal Civ Squadron, and you've designed graphics for their merch. Shout out Andrew Tam for sending us the largest pack. Yeah, of float you, team merch I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. She weighs like 45 pounds. She was a brick. Um, <laughs> my question, when you, when you design these uh, graphics, is Mikey giving you a fair cut of the proceeds or is he exploiting your labor? <laughs> <laughs> um, back in the day, it was more like that. It was more like I would do a graphic, he would pay me to do it, and then I would get money from doing it but i mean i still think that's how it works but now now i get paid now i get paid like monthly to like just you're you on know, retainer post and yeah I, I got a nice little comfy a job if you would say sure sure a, a job <laughs> yeah a job the, uh, in quotes how's the illegal civ health insurance yeah. <laughs> working on it <laughs> <laughs> i'm still my parents so i'm gonna oh, ride oh, that wire. wave till it's uh yo till it's gone should never thanks, get old thanks obama never uh, get old thank you yeah. Um, all right. Well, all right. So you got a film with Jonah Hill under your belt, a film boom. feature length film with Mikey Alfred under your belt. Double is boom. there, <laughs> is there a director as your acting cr- career continues to blast off into the stratosphere? Is there a director that you really want to work with uh, or multiple? Uh, hmm. Just, just those two. I think Wes Anderson. Oh, Wes Anderson's the only, uh, only person I think of just cause I like um, everything else I would, be more just about like what the actual film is about or what the story is. The role you know? itself. Yeah. Yeah. So I think director wise, just from pure aesthetic. Right. Mm. I would love to be in a, a Wes Anderson movie, but you I, know. I could see you. I could see you in a Wes Anderson movie for sure. Yeah. Some fucking, you know, I don't know. Would you Boy be ready Scott, to put on like hop, a, you know? would you be ready to put on like a twee ass suit though? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so down. Anything for Wes. Little head, head, head bandage around like yeah. any, anything. Is he your favorite director? I, I don't. The thing is with me, I'm I'm not like a cinephile. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't really watch a lot of movies. <laughs> Yo, like, like, what, what's we, your favorite? What's your favorite movie? Just so we can get some you, like context. Come on, Pokemon uh, movie. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon the movie. I, I really don't even know if I can answer that. I mean, Lawrence um, and I, we don't listen to any other podcasts. Like, yeah, so I get it. <laughs> you know, we, we don't want to be influenced by all the trash that's out there. Yeah, Ryder only watches exactly. his own shit. It's like watching exactly. film, like as an athlete. I get that. What about like, actors, wow. though? Are there, are there actors? I mean, you were surrounded by fucking bold face names throughout the A-listers. entirety of this film. Vince Vaughn, um, our Gillian homie Gillian Jacobs, Jacobs. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. that little redhead kid that plays the altar boy that replaces you. I forget his name. He's hilarious. Uh, Thomas. Yeah, that Thomas, uh, Thomas is funny B. As fuck. Yeah, he's so funny. Blake Anderson, fucking Uncle Blazer, the yeah. god. The Blazer. What yeah. are what other actors who's you want to co-star with? Uh, I mean, kind of hit dude. them all, right? Yeah, I mean, I kind of knock it out of the park in the first the first film, so I'm kind of set. <laughs> you care less about anybody. <laughs> yeah. Del Del the Funky Homo Sapien in in mid nineties. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah, another fucking all bold the cameos name. in that. Oh, um. I really, I don't know. All right. I just, well, uh, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, well, I'm a simple guy. Yeah. That's a simple guy. A simple guy as- who's a fucking movie star who doesn't give a fuck about being surrounded <laughs> by A-listers, but it's going to happen. You're going to be at the Oscars. You're going to be on the red carpet. What are you going to be wearing? Can you answer that question? What's the red carpet Ooh. Oscars fit if you get invited? What are you doing? I, I mean, I'm rocking a suit just to be, just to, you know, play into the formal. Of course. But uh, I don't. I feel like I looked at Gucci shoot Gucci suits once. Ooh, I just want I want I want like tastefully cool embroidery all over the Ooh, suit. Okay, I mean I don't hey, know what it would be yet. embroidery. Yeah, like t- not not too much, just enough. But just just enough to where it's like, ooh, that's not just a suit. Whoever cool did looking. your hoodie 
why don't you get them to fucking freak you, the Gucci suit? Did you do that? Yeah, or, uh, this is this is me. Oh, so yeah. then why don't you freak freak the Gucci suit? <laughs> yeah, that would fuck a suit up. <laughs> <Yeah. I> would, <laughs> you look like complete dog shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I would fuck it up so bad. I don't know how. But, <laughs> okay, yeah. so Gucci embroidered suit. You going like tie, bow tie? What's the kicks? Bolo. Yeah, bolo take back tie? your cowboy roots. I could go bolo tie with a ten. I, like I tried to do that once. <laughs> I don't, um, I'm for sure. I think I would rock some loafers. Mm, really? I don't know. I don't know. Tie wise. Definitely not a bow tie or, you know, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah. You're going to have whatever a, I'm feeling that day. You're going to get a lot of bow ties working with a Wes Anderson. I promise you. <laughs> oh yeah. True. <laughs> and a lot of bolos. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to have any bolos as well. There, I promise. <laughs> um, wow. well, Ryder, I mean, before acting in feature length films, let's not bury the fucking lead here. Uh, you also acted in a bunch of illegal civ shorts, short films, right? Um, yeah. Including one with the god Mac Miller. Do you have, and this is a question that comes from Mikey himself, actually. What's the yeah. most cherished memory you have of your time spent with Mac? Um, we were filming, we were filming that short. Um, we filmed that all on my parents' property. Oh, shit. At the, at the home on the range. Homies on yeah. the range. On the ranch. Who's ranch? Um, <laughs> And uh, I, I, figure we, I think we were talking about like a pair of Jordans I was on the table, but I'm pretty sure he bummed a cigarette off me. And my parents didn't know that I smoked at the time because I was yeah. a, little young, a little young and we smoked a cigarette like way down at the end of the property. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know, every every moment was he, he was such a nice dude. I only met him a couple of times, but he was like so happy and energetic and just really, uh, just really, really good vibes. Really nice to be around. How embarrassing was it that you'd be like, hey, I yeah. know you're like a really cool rapper, but can we like, yeah, can we take down a, a trip further? Like, I was chill, the corner, maybe. chill <laughs> like at least. I was, I was like, I'm just, uh, can we just, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just like, uh, yeah, one sec, yeah, sure. I just yeah, want to show you this cool no, view. Th- there, there's a really uh, cool okay. horse all the way down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a whole thing. It's, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll like it. I promise. Let's go. I swear. I'm, I'm not. I'm How not old sure. were you at the time? <sighs> remember I, I mean even i mean i don't, I don't even I think my parents just know i started knowing that i smoked i kept it very i kept it very <laughs> on the, the down, down low what was your what just, were your secrets listerine hand sanitizer like honestly a, a dry breeze <laughs> yeah like uh, for breeze anything i could spray on me but i mean fuck now that i like live out and alone and i like kind of on and off like smoking cigarettes i'm like how the fuck like i would hug my mom she for right. sure knew oh they knew 100 they Let's fucking knew yeah, but it's like my mom was chill, like a little more chill than my dad's like full, you know, sober, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything. So he's a narc. Yeah, he's a narc. <laughs> what kind of cigs do you smoke? Uh, Marlboro Reds. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. yes, dude. Yeah. Killers. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yes. All right. I'm satisfied. That's great. On I mean, brand. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, For real. But was that when you knew that you wanted to like pursue acting when you started doing these little shorts, like just fucking around with Mikey and and the whole squad. Yeah, that was really, I, I, I didn't know what the hell I was going to remember. I mean, or, I mean, I thought, I, I thought I'm going to be a bro skater, but, uh, <laughs> that's not, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but, uh, no, yeah, for sure. All the shorts kind of just shoved me into it. And I was like, Oh, all right. I, I, it's something I enjoy. And then he kept wanting to do more. And then, um, like, look, bro, and you're already exploiting me for my graphics. If you're going to exploit my <laughs> acting, <labor>. yeah, <laughs> let's make it a fucking 90 minute film at least. Yeah. So even then, it's like, he didn't even, I don't even, I don't remember him. At, I really don't remember it. Mikey asked me to make this movie. It was more <laughs> like, it was more like, I'm making a movie. Here's a script. You're Michael. You're doing it. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. you're the lead. I mean, I'm not doing anything. So <laughs> I'll do it. I got like, nothing going on. <laughs> whatever you want to do, I'm, I'm here to do it. <laughs> um, well, we are a fashion podcast, which is an oxymoron that we are an audio medium for a visual art form. Uh, <laughs> how did Michael's style, how does that compare to your personal style? Like yeah. the shit that the character wore in the film versus what you're rocking these days, which has definitely changed. Yeah. I don't remember seeing the the beanie with the with the cat ears. <laughs> um, his, the only thing I think we share is uh, I love striped shirts. And okay. throughout the whole movie, he's wearing stripes. I mean, you're so but, skinny. That's um, how you got to like broaden. Yeah, you got to elongate. So it's game, an optical right? illusion. It's yeah. just, I love, I love a good stripe. What can I say? But no cardigans, um, no chucks for you, IRL. I'm not a big. It, for me, I, it's it's really piece for piece. Whatever it, my style is whatever the hell I like want to wear. Sure, I would put. What do you? Doesn't what really shoes do you skate in? 
Um, right now I just have like a pair of one stars Converse, mm. but I mean, that's the other thing is like, I used to get, I used to get shoes from like a uh, Huff back in the day and then started getting Converse. So it's like, now that I, I don't really have like a shoe sponsor, I can actually like buy shoes and <laughs> like wear anything I want. So I'm really brought, brought. Would you rather the freedom or would you rather the flow team? Freedom versus flow. What's better? I mean, at this at this point, I like the freedom. I like being oh, able to you know, go buy a pair of Jordans. I don't know. Or, right, you're a movie star. You can afford Jordans. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not like I buy knockoff ones or <laughs> buy the cheap ones at uh, Team Jordans <laughs> or like you know yeah. mids or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what uh? What would be the best sponsor to have, have though? Mids. Oh, you have mids. Oh, that's embarrassing. Totally mids. You got to. I fucking... don't like the. I don't like the hot. I don't like the full. I mean, they're called mids for a reason, you know? Yeah, bro. Come on, man. They're mids mid. is no right, go. I get it. I, I, you know what? That's fair. Okay. Just too, it's, no, too much, it's too much hugging on the ankle, you know? Right, right. No, I get it's it. True. Totally. My foot's just stuck at a right angle. <laughs> what would be the best sponsor to have? Like, obviously, the shoe sponsors, boards, uh, clothes. But, like, I would love a toilet paper sponsor, you know? So I never mm. run out. Never have that fear. But, like, what would you want? Who would you want in your life just flowing you free shit constantly? Um, some sort of beverage sponsor. Okay. Some Go sort on. of Red, Red sort Bull, of if you're listening. Water or See, Red, I, I drink Red Bull. Bang energy I, if you're listening. I've switched, yeah. I've switched to Yerba. That's oh, the, very that's healthy. That's my, my very new... Gen Z, very Gen Z of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit, having a Red Bull every day is going to fucking... Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah. like the worst, the worst diet. Yeah, that so with some fucking Marvel 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 Red, yeah. yeah. This man smoking Reds and fucking butt chugging <laughs> Red Bulls. Like he's... You're going to live for 10 more years, dog. Uh, fuck it. All right, yerba, yerba mate if you're so listening yerba, bang our line dog <laughs> yeah. bang riders line exactly yeah. um right i mean you you're you're a, an expressive guy you're a visual guy um and you're young you're still learning right uh you have you have ways to go in all aspects of life all facets of life all facets of life looking back though what has been your most embarrassing style phase and was it having gauge earrings <laughs> How do you know that I had gauge earrings? Uh, don't worry about I, it. I did my I did my research. Don't fucking worry about it, bro. <laughs> I didn't want to pee with for no fucking reason. <laughs> worry, don't worry about our research. Worry about your earlobes, bud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, shit. Doesn't it, I feel like everyone looks back at their style from like a couple years ago and goes, ah, fuck. I mean, we didn't have gauges though. I mean, like we look <laughs> See, like well, fucking here, bozos all the time, but we're, <laughs> we're not gauged here's up. A, here's the thing. My my the gauges that I did have. My brother had gauges, and I was, uh, you know, I was my older brother, so I looked up to him. You know, obviously, and I had little tiny ones, so my okay. my ears are normal. I they normal closed up ones. now. Yeah, they were like they were like they were tiny, like they were little gauges, the most babyest gauges you could have. Well, you you got to start small and then grow it out, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I got to a certain point, I was like, ah, this hurts. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that anymore. So then I gave up on it. I'm glad I did because I don't want to have the ugh, seeing people that have like the the fucking roast holes, the and holes, and then yeah. they put the they put the hoop earring. Ugh. In the hole, so <laughs> nasty. Dude. Wait, what's your brother's situation then? How big were his gauges, and what are his ears like? He's still, he's still going. I, I mean, he honestly is still going. No, he still has. Uh, I mean, dude, I don't know how big. Like, there, you could fit your pinky through it. I think. Ugh. What's What's your brother's name? <laughs> I was just gonna if say. To, I wanted... If you If you were to think of uh, my brother's name, what was the, What were the first name? Gauges. What What kind of name? Classic. Derek. Derek. <laughs> no, Dad? Kyle. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Kyle? <laughs> yo, K Kyle, if you're listening, we need to have an intervention for your fucking gauges, dude. Yeah. I just wanted to say it by name, you know, before we slam. I mean, oh, yeah. you definitely got the fucking, you definitely caught the Red Bull addiction off Kyle. You definitely caught the, <laughs> yeah. you know, no, see, that's where, that's where it's monster. Differed. I would get monster when oh, I was a kid no. in high school. I would get donuts and a monster in the morning. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Yeah, exactly. And some camel and crushes. He was, he was a rock star. He was oh, a rock star <laughs> for sure. That's a generational thing, right? A new like, Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, shout yeah. out Kyle. Sorry, for, <laughs> sorry that you got dragged into this, <laughs> but you know. But Captain okay. Be, besides the gauge earrings, though, like looking back, do you have an embarrassing style phase, or is it all fucking Gucci? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm trying to think. Cause I had a lot. I had a lot of phases. Yeah, it's the most cringe shit. Yeah, What's um, the absolute worst. Uh, I don't miss five panels. I used okay. to wear five panels. Yeah. I hate, yeah. I hate looking back and seeing a rip and dip five panel or whatever. I used to, cause I used to get stuff from them. Is that the brain <laughs> like, like a cat? Cause you still have a cat thing going on, you know? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's love um, with felines. Let him rock. Yeah, you know. Well, these are just yeah, little headphone accessories. Oh, that's what oh. it is. Right, right. It's not the oh, hat. Yeah, fuck. yeah. The beanie is beanie separate. I do have a Pikachu beanie, but I was gonna say it all kind of is like a Pikachu vibe. Yeah. Um, all right, so I the mean, five panel rip and dips, the rippies and panel, dippies, all that a dicky. I mean, just like early, early hip skaters, steez that like is kind of normal now. Or I guess now it's kind of going back to like 90s baggy. Yeah, 100%. But, uh, like Dickies, High Water. No, not I'm fucking with that. It. No. I'm we off that kind of shit. We who, who are who are the, I mean, yo, uh, talk about a fucking murderer's row um, of skaters in the, in the movie. Right. Tyshawn, Jason Dill, all the homies from Andrew Lucas Reynolds, Ray. fucking uh, shit. A lot P-Rod, of cameras. Louis, yeah. P-Rod. P-Rod, Louis. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you had to. uh if you had to name them, though, who are the most stylish skaters of all time, in your let's humble do, opinion? Let's do a Mount Rushmore, top four unranked. Your opinion. Uh, Riders' thoughts only. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you had to th- have to think this much this early in the morning. Yeah, Sorry, bro. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Yo, hit your agent or whoever your publicist is going to be fucked up. Grab, grab a rock star. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we need to re- yeah. inject a um, Red Bull into this man's urethra. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say uh, definitely Nakel. Mm-hmm. Right. Nakel Smith. Oh, also, right. Nak is also in he's spitting fucking some flames. Yeah. Just he's, screaming like he's Denzel Curry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, who, like, um, I love, uh, like, Minefield era Jake Johnson. Sure. That's two. We're halfway there. Oh, also Tyler Bledsoe, uh, Minefield. I mean, he had, yeah, he had an A's hat and like glasses and sick, just look tight. But I don't know, I don't, it, dude. I'm trying to like muscle stuff. I mean, if we're going all Chattelac time, chat like muscle, <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I'm I mean, fucking down. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah, I, can, I play yeah, Tony Hawk's pro skater, bro. I can get behind <laughs> Chad Muska and like young Tom Penny. And oh, yes, sir. Yes, I'm sir. In, I'm into the, I'm into the baggy, flowy. But then again, that could change. Uh, next, you know, two years from now, I'm yeah. looking at. Yo, we got to read. We got to. But where the cycle is right now, now, Tom Penny is like the he nailed it. You know, yeah, like, fuck he's it. he's on it. The big thing of uh, and then like five fights. years ago. What do you think of Chad Muskie's current style? Where it's like fucking drop Rick. crotch, like Rick, Rick and tank tops, and I'm good. He got money though. That's like you know, yeah, it's not really. That. I mean, good for yeah. him. Nice <laughs> yeah. dude. Hundred percent. I'm not rocking with the sky tops, but. I don't think anybody is anymore. Well, maybe Lil Wayne. <laughs> Lil Wayne probably. Yeah, just, That's just one of the Weezy. most stylish skaters we haven't mentioned. Fucking Weezy. Yeah. Weezy F. Lil Wayne, Wayne, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, are, those Bieber, are, are those Bieber Crocs that you're wearing? No, 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 no. These are normal Crocs. These are okay. normal Crocs. Yeah. You haven't gone you haven't gotten full Hollywood yet. Yeah. No, no, no. It'll happen. I, I don't I, I really don't get like I don't buy like anything like super like expensive. expensive. I mean, buying a, a pair of mid Jordans is a little too much for me almost. What's the most yeah. expensive article of clothing you've ever purchased? Oh shit. I don't I don't think I've spent more than like a hundred bucks on something. Damn, damn. Man, I thrifty. wish I had I wish I didn't have my problem. I wish I was like you. <laughs> I'm fucking broke, dude. I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm <laughs> podcasting for fucking shekels over here. I mean that's why this man has not one but two lint rollers hanging in the background. That's so you know. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart with Where his are your money. lint rollers. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I, I'm I'm very like I either find it like at a thrift store mm. and I, I hold on to like all the shit that I like I just I don't really You're a hoarder? What do you say? Yes, I'm a hoarder is okay. kind of what I'm saying. I yeah. just uh you want it to be nicer to if I like a piece, I keep it for forever. Oh, absolutely. I mean and, not, and not that... like a brand staple, you know? It's like, yeah. oh that's a writer sweater. Exactly. Or I've seen him wear that since he was fifteen. <laughs> I mean, he's been rocking horizontal stripes for 21 years now. He came out, he came out his mother wearing horizontal stripes. Yeah, exactly. Sticks <laughs> to his guns. This man's not a wave rider. Exactly. We're gonna throw we're gonna throw you on the throwing fits flow team, whether you like it or not. Um, why don't you just yeah, what's, some what's, free merch going your way? What's your what's your address? Where can we send it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ryder. Um, let's get back to the <laughs> film we'll real quick. People. North Hollywood. I think that like what uh, everyone is saying so far is that it portrays skating in a very realistic, authentic way. Right. It's not like fucking fish islands. It's not like, cr- I mean, the music is crazy. The music's all like fifties doo-wop. Um, yeah. 
but there's no denying yeah. that skating right now in this very moment has never been more mainstream. We got, you know, the Olympics coming up. Um, we have skate brands selling for billion, literally billions of dollars. What do you think, like your personal thoughts, like what went through your head when you heard that Supreme sold for $2.1 billion with a B? Um, makes sense. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, dude, skating's always skating's like the frontier of every like, like that's where I found all my music. Sure. Like my taste in music is curated by skate videos for the most part. Same with clothing, and it's like skaters are always like I feel like the first mm-hmm. to like start the trend of yeah, like baggy pants and all 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 the like stuff that's like kind of popping right now or anytime is because of skate culture. So I mean, in Supreme's what is is the biggest? <laughs> I mean, I, it's it's funny that's even a skate brand. It's not even yeah. Do you consider know, it? Do you even how, when you think of Supreme, is it just like that's like streetwear to you versus like that, yeah, a skate that's brand? Like a, that's like a fashion brand to me. That's right. Like I, you know, I I didn't know about it until it was like a big thing. I didn't know when it was just a shop. That, right. Like, you know, like Stussy or like it, I didn't know when it was small, and I only know the. Two point what billion? Two point one billion. billion. Two point one. Don't don't leave off that one hundred million dollars. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's very important. Um, Respect to James what, Jebby. What are your favorite like skate brands though right now? Yeah. Besides obviously the boys, yeah, legal Civ. the team. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like uh, dude. I'm like so out of the skating <laughs> skating like scene right now. <laughs> um, I mean, are you still fucking with Baker? Of course, Baker's, Baker's like a classic. It's it's like yeah. entered the realm of you know mm-hmm. it's going on TV. It's Legends. just it's it's a it's a legendary company. But I think uh, what I like uh, I like Frog. I like oh, the yeah. drawings that Frog does. Frog is I sick. Just love that style. Um, I can't even think of like a skate company, dude. I'm. <sighs> it's a legal sieve or nothing. Yeah, it's kind of yeah what it is. <laughs> it's a legal sieve or vintage cheese. That's about it. Or exactly. frog skateboards. Or frog skateboards. I mean, Legal Civ is the only skate brand I would assume making feature length movies, right? Yeah. Only yeah. teenage movie studio. It's actually the only uh skate brand to exist. Yeah. It's the first it's the first skate brand to ever exist. It's weird. One, one it's of true. a kind. It's like throwing true, fits true and unicorn. Yeah. Who was okay? So we we had uh Nico, we had Aramis, we had uh all the people like Dill, all the fucking guys that we mentioned. Who was the biggest diva on set? And was it Mikey? Yeah. <laughs> can the director like be a diva? Yeah, I guess he can. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So who, who was the biggest diva on the set of North Hollywood? They're not listening. Yeah. Don't worry about it, bro. Yeah, you can say whatever. Listen. No one's going to listen to this shit. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, you've been hold, you're, you're a nice, quiet guy, but you know, you've been holding the shit and it's just been festering yeah. in your guts and you need to get it. It's, it's like therapy. You need to get it out. You know? <laughs> Yeah, we're not. By the way, this is not even getting published anywhere. We pretend to have a podcast just so we can talk to people. So don't you can say whatever, <laughs> dude. I, I I really it it really was. Everybody was so nice, and I I'm not just saying that. And I know Come you on. don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to hear that. <laughs> I'm I honestly might have been the the diva. Yeah, if, what are if you, I really? think everybody's nice, I might have been the diva. What is your what are your diva tendencies? <clears throat> if I, you have I, any, I just remember. I mean, I'm pretty like you know going with the flow there was only there was only one day where we had to swim in a lake and the lake was like had just it like was it's not open to the public like it's not like a let's go swim in the lake kind of lake yeah. right it's just a lake with water in it and it was like shut down a couple weeks before because there was like parasites in the water <laughs> So like that day I was early and I was like, I'm not like, <laughs> I like I pulled up and like, everybody's talking about it. I'm like, cool. That's awesome. He's like, yeah, we're just going to jump in. And I was like, oh, man, oh, I parasites. Don't fucking, yeah. I don't want to fucking do this. So then we do like, I'm like, right, whatever. I'll just, I'll like, whatever. We'll just like do it, get it out. Then I'm like one of the, I think the shot that made it in the movie, when we go into the lake, I slip a little <laughs> and like go into the lake, just full, like cut bottom of my foot. <laughs> Like just Damn. like a deep, little extra cut. tasty for the parasites. Yeah, I was like, I was so f- mad that day. I was You're out there like, chumming the waters. <laughs> yeah, it's like good, no, good, good. It's like, like bro, I get, I know that parasite won the Oscar, you know, in 2019. Yeah. But like, come on, this is too, this is too. Come on, Mike, this is too fucking much. Catch any real parasites. 
Yeah. Okay. That was the one. So that time. day you were then in like a very bad mood, and you were not you were not pleasant to be around. For I was not. I don't think I was. But get this man a cookie. Get this man some rocks. Right? We need to. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We need to appease Rider. Rider in his trailer book. right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, here's a question. It's so like, you know, the story of Michael is that as he has these aspirations to kind of get out of the North Hollywood neighborhood and see the world and, and aim higher than just like where his dad is at and where his homies are going. Um, I mean, now that you're going Hollywood in some sense, like do your skate friends think that you've changed it all. Yeah. You're out here smooching I Carly. Like, yeah, you know? come on dog. <laughs> That's a resume builder. I mean, no, I don't think so. I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm think I'm the same, same guy, you know? Yeah. There's no change in. Has anyone changing. come out of the woodwork to like ride your wave though? Cause they like see you kind of like no. getting a little juice. No, I guess no. you don't surround yourself with people like that. <laughs> you don't have long lost I, cousins. It's like, yo, I Ryan, mean, what's I up, better, bro? I don't, I haven't, I, I haven't talked to my cousins in years. <laughs> you yo, got them out to, of your life early. <laughs> <laughs> they're about to hit you up. Be like, bro, I got this crypto tip. I just need yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. like 10 G's. Yeah. That, see, but that, that's what, that's what has me fucked up is if you look up my name and net worth, it says I'm, it says my net worth is three million dollars. Yo, let's let's get on the record. What's your uh, congrats, what's dog? Your correct net, what's congrats. your correct net worth? Yeah, what's your actual net worth? Three thousand dollars. <laughs> Are you closer? It's to more 3, like three thousand. It's more three thousand more yeah. than three million. We got a we got like, a young money thousandaire over here. Yeah, Damn, my man's flexing. Nah. No, Man, I, we keep, should, I keep to myself indoors, so uh, there's no room for people to think I'm Hollywood. We're going to need somebody on Ryder's team to hit up uh, networth.com and get that sorted <laughs> out. We're going to need to bump those numbers up to $30 million, or, you know. <laughs> Well, they're probably looking at your vintage tees and looking at the vintage market and being like, my yeah, guy. looking at all the assets I own. Yeah. All the yeah. amazing stuff that I own. He's got two lid rollers. <laughs> He's got Three million in giblets <laughs> alone. <laughs> uh, you got a fucking... He's got some original, you got original art. Yo, maybe they're valuing your original art. Yeah. Maybe it's, yeah. These it's are, uh, these are, these are rugs that have been not made in a year that I was mm. on the finish. Are those on the floor? Are you actually like, uh, your computer, your screen is on the ceiling and you're looking up at us. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm, laying, I'm laying down right now. Fire. <laughs> Wait, no, what's the uh, apex twin? Is that also a rug? Oh no, that's a towel. That's a towel. Okay. <laughs> that's a, t- that's a towel that I just hung up. Cause I thought it was, uh, Right, you hang up know, rugs, you hang up towels. What, what won't this man hang up? Yeah, look, I have a rug up there too. There you go. Okay, I have a oh. child's room. A guitar. <laughs> do you live? Wait, do you live on your own now? Are you still live? I live. Home? No, yeah, I live on my own. I live in. Do you uh, live in North LA. Hollywood? No. Damn. I like the I made like out the, the hood. Side. The made east side. Hood. Okay. Um. Well, yo, I mean, we talked. We mentioned Vince Vaughn. Obviously, he's a fucking titan of the big screen. As an aspiring actor, I guess you're more than an aspiring actor. You fucking have made it. Uh, but what is like a lesson that you took from Vince Vaughn that maybe resonated with you the most? Uh, I think more just watching him like in scenes and just kind of seeing how he moved like around set and just kind of like, I don't know, seeing, seeing how like someone who's a seasoned actor, like just, I don't know how to carry himself throughout the set and during a scene just kind of like taking that with me and kind of I don't know because I I'm very much a to myself person and then acting is like kind of the only reason I like acting is that it I can get out of that I can be someone else that's not right my normal self that right, know, right, right whatever and uh really just that and like watching and seeing he has like his his like signature looks yeah he's got his he's got his Vince Vaughn looks and like I need a signature look. I need, a, I need, a, I need an eyebrow raise or like right. a, hmm. Yeah. You want to, I was going to say, you want to, you want to practice any, uh, on a podcast that no one will ever see the video. No of? One ever yeah. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> is he like, uh, is he one of these guys that's like super like gregarious and he's like talking to the crew, talking yeah. to the fucking telling war stories. Yeah. Like yeah. all the union guys, you know, he's, he's getting, like the man. he's getting a circle. He's getting yeah. after the scene's done, he's getting a circle of chairs <laughs> talking to like the wardrobe, the hair, like, just everyone sitting in a circle and he's just, which I mean, it's nice. It's nice is little. that, is that what you want to take with you where you become like a presence? <laughs> yeah. To an extent, not that much, but <laughs> definitely like just, I don't know, feel. He's a pro. He's a confident. fucking pro. Yeah, he, he, he knows what he's doing. So, I mean, that'll probably take time, but yeah. Just, uh, or is it that he's really lonely and he has no <laughs> friends? <laughs> yeah. He just, he has no friends. It could be that too. <laughs> 
<laughs> did he ever? Yo, did Vince Vaughn ever ask if he could join the illegal Civ skating team? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yo, yo, did he ever try to skate? Yeah, did you ever see him on a board? No. Yeah, no. He, he's he's smart. Big tree fall hard. That's probably <laughs> yeah, exactly bad luck. <laughs> Oof. Was yeah, he impressed we, by we like that? Was yeah. he impressed by like what you were doing and Nico and everyone? Or was he like, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I mean, I made I made old school. Like, I don't I mean, I th- yeah. I th- I think so. Uh I tried to like, you know, the first first time I met him, I, I had I tried to like be as impressed with I never memorized every scene we had together. So like when we sat down, we're like, oh, let's read through a scene, even though I don't think we read through a scene at all. He just wanted to like kind of feel it out and see what I was like. Yeah. But uh um what the fuck what the fuck was the question? You're talking about meeting him for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> trying to try to impress oh, yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to impress. Yeah, yeah. Trying to impress you're trying him. to big dick yeah. Vince Vaughn. I think I think that's I think what we're trying was, to do to you right now. I don't think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was more impressed with uh Mikey. Just Mikey as like really a whole in like making this movie because it, it's like a that's a big it's a big feat to like oh, do sure. this and you're I mean it's Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Were you yeah. impressed with Mikey or was he just kind of like the same guy that, you know, yeah. shows up at the park and like shoots um, these little films and just kind of that on a larger scale? Or did he kind of change? Did he step up to the moment? I think it just surprised what I mean, I didn't really know how like how like produced the movie was like until I got set and I was like, oh. Like, this, this is no like, bullshit. Yeah, this what? is like a is that, is is that like iCarly? A, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah like, what the fuck? I was like, this is a set with like a shit ton of people working on it. That's like this is like a re- like there's a trailer out there's like a wardrobe trailer and like the streets blocked off. And I was like, Oh, it's like a movie. This is like a we're making a movie. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Mikey was, uh, was it similar on par to like the production for mid nineties? Like like that, like pretty like pretty close. It was like around the same like uh like uh crew size i feel like i think that the was 90s surprising had to you. like yeah because I, I didn't know i i really didn't know i was just like oh he's making this and it like uh um did yeah, you also uh, show up to mid 90s and not realize it was gonna be a real movie <laughs> <laughs> see no no see i knew that from the first i went to a casting so i was like oh this is oh a movie. god i got it got it and it was uh allison jones who's like casted a bunch of great movies and i was like oh yeah, it's a real movie. And then pull up and we had like a bunch of table reads and they had like a production. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. Dude, uh, at this point, my, I'm like, it's hard for me to be impressed by Mikey because he just, he does it all the time. No matter right. what he wants. You're so to do, used to it. You're so used to the, the person. He knows, oh, I want to do this. Oh yeah. His, oh, well, actually my cousin's friend is actually the owner of that company. Right. So <laughs> I can go like, He's it, doesn't, it doesn't even phase me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Like, right. oh, that's uh, my part for the course. It's it an done. impressive individual. Yeah. I want to yeah. ask about something that maybe phase you. How weird was it to see Jason Dill dressed up as a priest? <laughs> like weird satires. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, he's, he is an interesting character. Had you met him um, before or like been tight with him or was that, I don't know if I'm tight with him, but I, I mean, I feel like you would remember me now at least, but, um, <laughs> I don't hope so. <laughs> it was definitely, it was definitely uh, so weird just because he's like, his energy is not priest. Right. He's, he's so like, subdued too in the, the movie. Like he's like playing like a completely, yeah, he's like, like he a sounds nice, like himself, right? But it's very totally God, different. But he's not very God friendly IRL. Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> church friendly. <laughs> yeah. I don't but, know if you want to call him God fearing necessarily. Uh, but yeah, he's, uh, I mean, he's a, he also a great actor. Like he, yeah, he, yeah. he just has it for games. You were saying he was in love, right? What was uh, that TV sh- or the Netflix? Show? Oh yeah. 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 With Gillian. With, uh, and he, Gillian. Yeah. That there was more his like character where he's like, he's like some, he's like tweaking at a party and he's like getting a tattoo <laughs> and like tries to fight somebody. Cause they had fucking yeah. tattoos. <laughs> exactly. That seems like that's more, that's method. more act the real life deal. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he's been method acting his whole life for this cameo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yo Ryder, last question. I need you to be honest here. You've been fucking, I've seen you've been acting this whole time and, and <laughs> lying to our faces, but be honest for one minute, please. Um, much like your character in the film, were you, Ryder McLaughlin, absolutely trash at getting with girls in high school? What's your game like, son? Yeah. Follow up with um, your body count. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah nobody's yeah, listening, was, so feel free. I was not, I was not, 
not maybe later high school. That's when they were like, oh, this guy's like quiet and I tall never, I never, and, but I, so the yeah. high school I went to, I, I didn't really talk to anyone at all. Oh, just, full like, outcast vibes. Yeah. Full. Shooter, I'm not really talking to anyone. Vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Low key. Yeah. Low key school shooter vibes. Damn. A kid, uh, I remember a kid it gets posted, better. A, a kid posted a photo. This was the vibe at, at my school. This kid posted a photo of me. He was a, a Hispanic kid. He posted a photo of me on Twitter and said, I'm friends with this kid. So when he shoots up the school, he won't <laughs> shoot me. <laughs> Did you go viral? No, this okay. was like fucking so long ago. And I was like, one like, <laughs> yeah, <I was laughs> just like, to like whoever you go to school with. That's hilarious. Like, Fuck. Okay. That's cool. Like, right. Damn. I, be- I better start talking to people, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh like, shit. So this I is felt, what people I, think about me. I was me. like cool with everyone, but like, I just wasn't friendly. Right, Cause they were afraid that you were going to shoot the school and they didn't want to be, you know, murdered. Well, now you're fucking out here smooching Miranda Cosgrove to tell <laughs> high school to suck your dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, you, what was the name of your high school writer? Uh, just Moore Park High School. Hey, Moore Park There's High only School. One if you're high listening, school. suck riders dick from the back. Yeah, bitch that's ass motherfuckers. Name, that's gonna be the name of the episode, by the way. More yeah. More Park High School. Suck. He's rich. He's famous now. His net worth is three thousand dollars. <laughs> Fuck off, <laughs> Ryder. Thank you for coming on. To Thanks, the only bro. Podcast that matters. Yo, tell us about North Hollywood. Where can the kids follow you on socials? Plug your shit, my dude. Yeah. When does it drop? Where can we see it? Uh, North Hollywood is available uh, May fourteenth. I'm not really sure on what I think it's on. You gonna be on Apple Store and uh, Amazon, anything you can buy or all rent. major streaming platforms. Uh, you can follow me at Ryder McLaughlin on Instagram. I don't really do much on there, but you can follow me and <laughs> check out my profile, see if I'm still alive. Sometimes, yeah. See it. See and, a meme uh, of him as a school yeah. shooter. Maybe we'll cop the illegal sieve graphics that Ryder designed. Yeah. yeah, cop the merch. Cop the merch. Illegal sieve. Send my. Um, what's your Venmo so kids can just fucking send <laughs> yeah. you money. <laughs> Direct mutual, Damn, direct mutual aid. If American, everybody could send me one dollar, I could yeah. reach my goal of three million. Re- reach your goal of Jordan one highs, not yeah. Can't can one, finally one, afford we the need one pair. Yeah, <laughs> we need one pair for this man. You might get yourself a third lint roller. All right, yeah. Ryder, thank <laughs> you for coming bro. on Throwing Fit Chef. Hit that motherfucking outro music. <laughs>